Arr. Welcome to Cohabitation Demo. Just, just, just a demo. Well, hang on, this music's a little distracting. It's nice music, but a little distracting. Uh, let's see. It's a game about learning to live as one. 200 light years away, the planet Alkia drifts in space. It is home to not one, but two sentient species, the peaceful, technological Alkins and the terrifying Hall who live off hunting the former as prey. Tasked with reclaiming a radio tower to help find a planet capable of harboring life, will you help your species make their escape, or is there a somehow is there somehow a way to cohabitate? This demo represents the first chapter of our full game, made with the help of Helen Zo, Eric Lujan, if I'm, or, I, 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 I'm probably butchering names, but yeah, Monty and Shannon, okay. But it looked interesting, and I think you play it, like, I think there's a button in here, which just sparks my interest, but it just looked interesting, so let's give it a try. Yeah, like this little rodent thing, but very odd-shaped. Hello again. Let's see. You are XM0124 of the Alkins race, long-time resident of, you guessed it, the planet Alkia. Furthermore, this big old colorful rock you call home rotates at a measly speed of 100 Alkian lengths per quarter Alkia day. That means your nights are few and far between and last just as long as your wearisome days. How boring. It does, however, mean that your dreams are bloody crazy. I mean, you would know it better than anyone. You're in one right now. That's a what? That's a weird shaped thing. Uh, so I'm in a dream. Yeah, buddy. Did the swirling black mass behind me not give it away? But anyway, it is strange for you to be the one asking questions. All I am is a reflection of your inner thoughts. I guess it take, makes sense, though. Given the rarity of nights, your species doesn't dream very often, and the dreams that do happen are all spaced out. In turn, your kin have failed to develop a dream sense when they sleep and always regress into the same pitiful amnesiac state. Kind of cute when you think about it, but annoying for me because I gotta explain this stuff every time. I digress. There's more important things to discuss. Listen, things are about to get shaken up, buddy. Big time. And I hate to say it, but the responsibility for it is gonna fall squarely on you. I'll tell you about it in the next room. I see. Hello again. Now, what is your name? I know. You are XM0124 of the Elkins race, but I mean, what is your name? Hmm. Like, my name. Yeah, what is your name? <coughs> I mean, I guess... <coughs> God damn, sneeze. I guess I could go just sneak out. Uh, and unless some weird shit happens, I can... Fear and hunger, termina. Oh god. I, I don't want things like that to happen ever again. I see. Nico, what an interesting name. Now, I must ask. Which of these beings best represents you? I'll just go with myself. What if I keep clicking this guy as if he's possibly a representation? I'll get behind you. You can't go back. I had to pick someone? Oh. Okay, um... I... Oh, I, I guess... Salary man looking dude? Oh, okay, they got portraits too, interesting. Sasuke? The guy from My Hero Academia with the, that with the lightning powers? Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, maybe that guy. Maybe. I don't know. Sure, why not? So be it. Now follow me in the next room. Hmm. Fine. Weird trippy stuff, but whatever. This is the final room, I promise. I'm going to need you to tell me one last thing. Your species has no concept of a relationship, as far as I know. This would make sense, given reproduction is pretty much handled by a single queen. But still, I need you to answer this question with utmost attention and honesty. 
smart. My partner? Oh. Um. I mean, it depends. Is this one? Is, I. I uh, sure. Let's let's go with that. So be it. Whatever you prefer. We're approaching the end of the road for this dream anyway, and though you may wish you had never woken up, you must soldier on. The fate of life as we know it dangles ever so precariously in your appendages. So uh, no pressure. Let's see. Oh, back in my sophisticated science lab. What a strange dream. A terminal whose sole use is to monitor and maintain your sleeping pod. Above it sits a simple placard. A placard. Hmm. I guess that is my name name. Despite what you think, this is a computer. It is operated by putting one's eyes up to the goggles using and uses ocular movement as a means of control. You put your eyes inside. Oh. I mean, I guess I can open the door via this way, so, oh, sure. Ah, uh, let's see. Reading. Hall detect? Photon analysis has detected possible hull presence within Radio Warehouse 17. Current data has this location as your post. Please report to your supervisor. Um, importance beyond critical. Uh, report... After waiting, it all has been lost. Oh, okay. I guess I slept through a disaster, I guess. I guess unlock door. I guess that was the only way to unlock the door. If I had to try to interact or leave. Um, uh, eh, nothing else, I guess. Yeah, sure. You're not allowed. It appears they have left. You're not allowed inside. Maybe if I examine them all, one of them will, uh, I'll be allowed. I'll, I'll check them all. Mmm, I don't know if I want to go this way. Do I have a oh. The hallway leads to the other bedrooms. You have no bit. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we don't have multiple pathways, thank God. I'm curious as to what's going on, though, besides just we have a weird technology where whatever our species maybe used to be, which looks like a big really large mice, depending on, I don't know, size, with cybernetic legs that really don't, they're, they're not even symmetrical, it looks like it's been rushed together, or something. It's very strange. I don't know how one can consider it, like, advanced, and yet, also just ugly technology. Like, it looks like a mixture of, like, a peacock kind of bird, a hamster, and, like, something an AI generator would create and sort of removed from it. Okay, it took you damn long enough. Spent your sweetest time cleaning your ear follicles, huh? Huh? Don't want me, you maggot. Good lord, your dream nesia might be the worst than I thought. Now it's got you struggling to retain your memories in the real world. Believe me, if I had a way to keep my workers awake all the time, it'll make things a lot damn easier around here. I'm not sure if you remember this, but I'm the general manager of Unit 17. This makes me the prime overseer of, among other things, Rations, Bunker 17, Sleep Warehouse 17, and most importantly, Radio Tower 17, your location of employment. Uh, what is my job? <laughs> I gotta explain everything. You work as a transmitter and receiver operator at the tower. When it comes down to it, Radio Towers are the biggest hope for the survival of our species. Say, do you even remember what the hole are? Or hall? I'm not sure if it's hall or hole. I'll take that as a no. God damn it, time is of the essence now, but I gotta sit here explaining things to a sleepyhead over here. Well, you should know, uh, Alkia is home to not just one, but two intelligent species. There's us, the Alkians, but then there's another. They are called Whole. Terrifying beasts, all of them, though not quite as intelligent, uh, as intelligent as us, they're twice as deadly. And they can only live in darkness, which means when night rolls around, they're on the prowl. These well-lit and well-fortified buildings, however, are a means to keep us safe during the night. But somehow they found a way into the generators below our radio tower and destroyed them, taking over the tower in the process. Curse them! Um... 1,000 Alkia rotations, not one, well, no, I don't, I don't even know what that is, but you know. Uh, since the last attack of this scale. To make things worse, because it's been so long, a lot of our military has been decommissioned. Uh, yes. Radio equipment is our ticket to contact and planet. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, I actually wanted to ask more questions. 
almost feel bad about sending you a face. Oh. If your dream is really that bad, you can brush up into history using the records library behind me. Unlock my side door once you collect yourself. Earpiece auto translator. This is required for any Elkin who operates radio equipment. It uses machine learning to translate any communication it hears into our language. Only we'll use it when you get to the receiver, just in case some miracle happens and we're contacted. But I don't want you to break it before then. Oh, that's maybe foreshadowing. Uh huh. You're not allowed to touch it. Okay. Don't touch anything. Even this. Um. Man, I don't know if I care about this, but I'll, I'll swift through it just in case you guys want to sort of read it. Depending on how much there is, because... Uh... Nah, I, I'll just... Ugh, it's too much. I'd be spending like an entire first episode doing just that. If people are really invested, then I guess they just play the game themselves and read what they wish. This airlock leads outside. Weird. Reminder, any exit outside of daytime hours requires approval from them. Failure to comply with exit regulations will result in immediate sun... Wait, the immediate what? Sun downing. Oh. Exile of death sort of thing, I see. A terminal whirs to life next to the control pad. Uh, yes. What am I to expect out here? Oh. Hmm. Like a fallout kind of thing? These look weird and organic or something. This must be Rations Bunker 17. Huh. Well, oh, this way. Are there enclaves? You have no business. Oh, that's good. Then no pointless uh, roaming around. Hmm. Friend? That blue exoskeleton. You're 001 class, right? Shit, don't tell any 003s this, but I hate my job so fucking much. Going out here with a gun, hoping I don't accidentally step into an open hole mouth. Is this really all there is? At least I'm not as bad as off as you are, heading to that blasted radio tower and all. Good luck out there, buddy. Haven't seen anyone return from there yet. Oh. Can, can I trade you for that gun, maybe? Hmm. Great. Hmm. Something at the very top. Curious. Unless. I can't just grab it. Alright. That'd been fine. I'm gonna look around to see if there's any secret areas over here. And there's a guy out here. Hi there, I'm XM1473. Gosh, I'm just so excited to be here. I love my job. Wait, you know what I'm doing out here, right? No. My, my, my. I hate to be frank, but were you born yesterday? I'm part of the Survey Corps. Whole only move around at night, so while we sleep, They'll sometimes come out here and bury themselves in the sand, hoping to turn one of us into an unsuspecting snack. So my job is to get out here and find these oaths before they eat our workers. When I get my hands on one of them, I'll kill it with my bare hands. That's just a joke. I'll kill them with an automatic explosive launcher. So watch your step, mister, unless you want to do my job for me. Hmm. I can't stay here talking forever. So I could run in the sand until maybe... getting eaten comically by one, like really early, maybe? Cause he just like implied that I could just randomly roam here, and they can bury in the sand to eat you when you go over there. It's like a tunnel spider, maybe. Interesting. But yeah, I think I think that's everything probably. I don't know why they look like the way they do. Is it just like sort of like a giant? But you have no choice. Oh, already uh, step in the cough yak. You're another zero zero one class, right? I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told everyone else. Stay the hell away from here. But I know you're not gonna listen. Not like you have a choice, I guess. I hear any 001 class that doesn't follow orders get sundowned. I thought I would be spared from that treatment. Look at me now. A hole took a bite out of my midsection. And the only people sent in here are to save the equipment and not me. But that's to be expected on this goddamn planet, isn't it? 
I agree, we're fucked. So, good luck out there. I wasn't expecting anyone to actually try and reclaim this place, so I put the whole thing on lockdown on my way out. Even broke the first floor lock mechanism. I'm sorry, but if you want any chance at getting to the transmitter on top, you'll have to fix that first. If only I knew that the 003s on top would have the gal to send an army to be slaughtered. I see. Oh, he's still talking. Oh, no, I... No, he's, you can die already. Terminal begins to whir. It looks to be broken. Oh. Let's see. You put your eyes inside the computer. Given what lies ahead, you have a strong feeling you should save your progress. Yeah. Interesting. It's very foreboding, and I like this turn of event. Um, any communications. Is it mine still? Uh. Hmm. No. Same emails. Unlock door. Nice. Alright, what awaits me? What kind of RPG is this? Instant death. The the Salkin is long dead and half eaten. Looking at his exoskeleton, he must have been a soldier sent in here like you. What? I was not expecting Attack on Titan. Ow Oni style giant monsters, that is funny. What happens when I die? Do I get just eaten? That's funny. I was not expecting it to turn into an Ow Oni kind of game. I was not. That's funny. Okay. We, we, oh, yeah. Yes. No, I already, I already did that. Okay, maybe I'll save it now. Okay. So yeah, apparently there's big humans. I wasn't expecting that. I, th I think I'd die if I move forward, but let's find out. Yeah, it's gonna burst my head probably. Maybe? What the fuck? This Alkin is long dead, half eaten. You can see a key card. We'll see if maybe this is a one-way street. It's locked. Maybe if I die. Oh. Huh? Interesting. Do I die if I get near him? I would like to see all deaths if it. Oh. Yep. There we go. Okay. If all deaths just gonna have the exact same graphic though, there's no point. Unless they're unique. Cause then we could find the interesting notion of, uh, you know, uh, all deaths. But it's a demo anyway, so it was just something to try out of curiosity. Let me just get that keycard back. What? It killed me instantly this time? Wait, what? Weird? I wonder why. Is there like attack patterns I don't see? Or I have to wait for a second. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's like when the light goes away. Or I can only move when the red light is on or the red light is off. Curious. I have to figure this out. I need that keycard back. I think it's when it's the red light is on, it's safe. So I can rush this. And it should be fine. Nope. Oh, the light turned off. Okay. It's definitely the red light equals safe. That's weird. All right. Ugh. Just want to get out of here and save. Ugh. Horrible. But it seems like there's multiple weird challenges in this game. I wasn't expecting that turn all of a sudden. But uh, I'll have to come back through there at some point. But I want to see what's in here. Because there's another room over there. But I'm not sure if it's like locked on the other side or just locked down the key. Among the books, you uh, find a warning manual in dealing with hull invasions. In the case of takeover, keep these things in mind. They're most active in the dark when faced with a bright light. Oh, and... They're most active in... Oh, yeah, they're active in the dark. I forgot about that completely. When faced uh, with a bright light, most of them won't even have the energy to eat you. Second, uh, they come in endless variety of shapes and sizes. Fast ones, one will chase you, ones that are blind, big ones, small ones, one that just sit still all day. There's no way to predict what the hull will do. 
That brings up to my third point, never underestimate them. Though they seem incapable of intelligent thought, there's a reason we have yet to wipe them off this planet. Don't become their next meal, it will only allow them to get stronger. It is definitely Attack on Titan style, I can feel it. Definitely. You can't find anything useful here that you should look elsewhere. What if I... Easter egg if I click enough times? You always gotta try. Um... Same book? Well, okay. Well, this room just tells you about... Hey, they are... They don't like bright lights again. Okay, cool. Alright, nothing was there then. Locked. Oh, what's on your... Wait. I'm moving at, like, hyper speed always now. Hang on. Always dash. No, weird. I'm always dashing. Fucking weird. Uh, I I was trying to get the repair kit in the closet next to it. Okay, we can, that thing. It lashed out with its tongue, hit me with such force that it damn near killed me. But it didn't even go for the finishing blow. That bitch must have ate so many of our brothers that all he needed was a little bit of my blood as a dessert. So now having gorged itself, it just sits there, blinking. Could be a trap. So he's saying... Either this is a trap... God damn, I didn't want to talk to you again. Either it's a trap... Or he really is not going to eat me. You search through the storage unit. Something in the corner catches your eye. Or parakeet. Oh, wait. Developer, I think that was a bug. I'm not going to think that was real where it turned into a Buddha. Like a fucking Buddha god or something. <laughs> it, it turned into some kind of flying Buddha statue. I, I don't think that was intentional. I can't imagine that being so. Okay, let's do that again then. I don't know what the repair kit's for, but... Let's just talk to him. Blinking, yes. Okay, so you... What is it for? What am I repairing, possibly? This? I don't know, whatever. Let's... I don't think I need to, like, repair this, do I? I have a repair kit, but mm, apparently not for that. I still don't know about the whole always dash being on. I'm not touching the, uh, shift key. I'm not sure what button I made of accidentally hit. Uh, probably choose it here. Yeah. It appears that you fixed- it, 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 Why did it sound like I hammered it? Would you like to use a key card? Wait. Did I just, like, use a repair kit for no reason? Hang on, I'm gonna have to restart that if I can. Um, I just hope I... Can? Let's see. If I can just use the keycard and I can keep the repair kit for a time when it'll actually be needed, let's see. Okay. No. Oh. I have no choice to use it and then use it. Or maybe I did fix it. It felt like I broke it instead. That's the good feeling I got. Apparently I was wrong. There's some notes here. Would you like to read them? Uh, 435 writing. Put the whole floor into lockdown mode. Can only hope it'll prevent the hole... Oh, I don't... I'm gonna say hole. Uh, from getting any higher. If you wish to undo this, please utilize the switches on this floor. You can find which ones to turn on by consulting an indicator light on the door and manual that should be in one of these rooms. That is if the hole don't get to you first. Godspeed. I will not prepare to make my escape. Okay. So to make... I have to find out... Wait, what? Well, that's... This is a lever. No, I don't know the solutions. I guess this is just to escape being chased. We don't even know what's going to chase us. Interesting. Red switch. 
Where's any rooms, though? This reminds me about Metal Gear Solid 1. Before fighting Revolver Ocelot, you know, where you'd put your C4 right here, you know? Giving me the same vibes. Level architecture, it's like, it's the same thing. Who are you? He's long dead. You can see a key card. Hey! Oh, he's still alive! My key card. Wait, you, you aren't going out there, are you? How did you even get in? Uh oh. They were lying in wait then, out there. I'm sorry, you're fucked. The Elkin is unresponsive. It's like a fucking zombies ate my neighbor's baby. Oh no. That's, I hate that. Immensely. Flashing red. Uh oh. I was just storming the motherfucking halls. I don't like that. Can you get in here? Thank you. This looks like a trap. If the control panel indicator lighting is blue, flip the blue switch. Control panel is flashing blue. Control panel indicator. Uh, if the control panel light is flash, flip red and yellow switches. I don't I even see a flashing light, so I have to look. The yellow control panel light is flashing red. Flip the red and yellow switches. Yellow flip all switches. Okay, what light is it flashing? What? Control panel indicator. Wait, where's the control panel? Where is the control panel? Damn, man. That's one loud baby trying to eat me. Alright, but I don't know where they're talking about a flashing light, though. Huh? Oh! Oh, that hurts the ears. Glad I turned everything down. Wh what? It, okay. It just, that was uh, a little spooky, but now he's kind of stuck, so I'm good for that. Wait, where's the other switch? It's... Wait, what? Was it not that? Shit. Yeah, it was wrong. I'd have to try to brute force it, maybe. Oh, it's flat. Oh! Flip the red and yellow switches. Okay. Flip the red. Okay. It says right here. Or wait, no. It appears the control panel is flashing red. It tells me right here. Gotcha. Which one's this? That's yellow. So I need to turn off the one up here, which this dude was... Mm. There. That should be fine. I locked the door. Thank you. The Elkin is dying. Looking at his exoskeleton, he must be work for the radio tower. He doesn't have anything to say. Oh. Um... He must have been a worker for the radio tower. Looking, he must have been a worker. All right. Oh, a save. Beautiful. Your keycard isn't working on this door. Something strange is happening. The door is locked. Given how you just recently opened to get here, you sense that something may be wrong. Y some kind of trap. This hallway itself is a trap? Oh. I... Hmm. This is the radio equipment. The box should include a receiver and a transmitter. You finally made it. The noise. 
Something tells you it sounds a bit different than usual radio static. You've been told it has never happened before, but could it be a signal from another planet? You decide to put it in your earpiece auto-translator. Is a message from the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, also known as SETI. We write in hopes of making contact with another sentient species. We understand that this is a message may be hard to interpret, so we will now relay what we call prime numbers as a universal show of intelligence. 1357 11, 13, 17. We feel that we that will suffice as proof. Further transmissions will include more such displays. We hope this message does not fall on deaf ears and that new horizons will soon rise among the galaxy. That is all for now. This signal has been relayed as part of the SETI Institute. Location University of California, Berkeley. United Steel Finest in the United States. On a planet called Earth. Interesting. It looks like for the first time in Alkian history, another hospitable planet has been found. But what do you do now? Hmm. An interesting. Oh, you've reached the end of the game's demo. Thank you for playing. Interesting. I mean, I like the interesting twist that it's fictional game, fictional planet, fictional universe, anything has a uh, it relates or seems to have involvement with planet Earth as part as the the lore that exists within its uh, mythos or whatever you'd want to call it. But interesting game. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below what you thought about this RPG maker. I guess you could call it indie horror RPG maker, but hey, let me know. Again, your thoughts down below. Pros, cons, any suggestions for the developer perhaps? But hey, let me know in the comments down below. I'm saying that way too many times now, but <laughs> hit the like button. Hit the like button, though, and think I'm a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I'm doing things backwards. I'm ruining this outro, but hey. Don't hit that bell, too. The bell's important. Until the next time. Vroom.